The revolution has brought bad news for this industrial plant in the eastern town of Kramatorsk. A Russian customer has delayed signing a big contract for machine tools until it becomes clear which way Ukraine is heading. Under its new boss, the factory is diversifying into wind turbines, but it still relies on Russia for more than 60% of its business. Europe market is completely different. Our business uh, not well prepared to Europe market. Our production uh, uh, not competitive uh, in Europe market. In the regional capital, a new governor has just been appointed. The economy is one of his most urgent priorities. Many people in the Donetsk region are having big problems because of trouble in the banking sector. Many banks are on the brink of collapse. Many cash machines are empty. On top of that, we need to tackle corruption. Like many towns in eastern Ukraine, Kramatorsk still honors its Soviet past. Many people feel nostalgic for the certainties of the old days. This whole region is heavily dependent on Russia for trade and for jobs. So maintaining good relations is crucial, regardless of people's political opinions or how they see their national identity. But some people from this region supported the revolution and paid the heaviest price. Ivan Panteliev left his home for Kiev to join the protests on Independence Square. He was killed by sniper fire on February the 20th. Now I'm not thinking about anything. I would like to see comfort. I would like to see peace. The national poet of Ukraine, Taras Shevchenko, looks down on the main square in Kramatorsk. At the foot of the statue, flowers laid in honor of Ivan Panteliev. In this pro-Russian city, there are those who cherish the symbols of Ukrainian independence. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Kramatorsk.